heat is a form of energy heat content of a body may be defined as the sum of the kinetic energies of all the molecules in it and temperature is the average kinetic energies of all the molecules in it from law of conservation of energy energy can neither be created nor be destroyed but can be converted from one form to another and it is true in case of latent heat of steam or latent heat of fusion first of all let us define the latent heat latent heat is the amount of heat required to change the state of unit mass of a substance without change in its temperature latent heat of fusion is the amount of heat required to convert unit mass of a solid at its melting point into liquid without any change in its temperature latent heat of evaporation or steam of any liquid is the amount of heat required to convert a unit mass of liquid at its boiling point into vapor or steam without any change in temperature and it is equal to 226 into 10 raised to 4 joules per kilogram applications of latent heat number 1 when a piece of ice is added to juice it absorbs some amount of heat from the juice to melt and due to this the juice becomes cool number 2 water in earthen pot is generally cool because the water molecule oozes out of the numerous pores of the earthen pot these molecules evaporate on the surface by taking heat from the water and this water is cooled number 3 this principle is used in working of steam engine where the latent heat of steam or latent heat of evaporation is come into existence here the principle is used to convert water into steam observe this what is happening here heat energy is converted into mechanical energy therefore it is nothing but a heat engine that is a heat engine is a device which converts heat energy into mechanical energy the heat engines are of two types namely external combustion engine and internal combustion engine an engine in which combustion of fuel takes place outside the cylinder it is called external combustion engine example steam engine internal combustion engine a engine in which combustion of fuel takes place inside the cylinder it is called internal combustion engine example petrol engine diesel engine gas engine etc let us deal about external combustion engine or steam engine construction external combustion engine mainly consists of a cylinder fitted with an air tight piston this piston is connected to a crankshaft through a connecting rod 
the cylinder is connected through an inlet valve coming from boiler at the top and outlet valve connecting to a condenser at the bottom a pump is used to pump the water to the boiler from condenser working the working of external combustion engine has two steps or two strokes expansion stroke and exhaust stroke number 1 when the water is heated in boiler and the steam produced builds up at pressure this steam with the pressure enters the inlet valve during this condition the inlet valve remains open and the outlet valve remains closed the steam expands in the cylinder pushing the piston outwards the crankshaft starts rotating as it is connected by a connecting rod to the piston this outward movement of piston due to the expansion of steam is called expansion stroke steam expands as it pushes the piston it loses some of its energy and the steam condenses into water due to this the piston is pushed back into the cylinder now outlet valve opens and inlet valve closes this inward movement of the piston is called exhaust stroke all the condensed water is collected in the condenser the inlet valve opens and the cycle is repeated now it is the external combustion engines are not in use due to their disadvantages like steam engines are bulky in nature and cannot be fitted to small machines like car bikes etc in steam engine major portion of the heat energy is wasted while transferring from boiler to cylinder thus the efficiency is less it takes a long time to generate steam and high pressure and this engine cannot be started instantaneously as steam stored in boiler is at high pressure there is a risk of accidents due to bursting of boiler to overcome these disadvantages internal combustion engines were invented an engine in which the fuel is burnt inside the cylinder and depending on the type of fuel used internal combustion engines are classified into two types petrol engine and diesel engine let us now deal about the petrol engine petrol engines were invented by nicolas otto a typical petrol engine has following parts piston rod cylinder crankshaft piston inlet valve spark plug and outlet valve one complete cycle of internal combustion engine comprises of four strokes hence called four stroke engine they are intake stroke expansion stroke power stroke and exhaust stroke the internal kinetic energy required to start the engine is generally provided by a kick starter or a push starter or a self starter it has a special device called carburetor 
carburetor is used to mix the fuel and air in proper proportion intake stroke the piston moves downwards creating a low pressure inside the cylinder then the inlet valve opens the fuel mixture from the carburetor enters the cylinder here the outlet valve remains closed compression stroke the piston moves upwards both inlet valve and the outlet valve gets closed the fuel mixture compresses thus the temperature and the pressure of the fuel mixture increases that is compression up to 1 by 5th of initial volume and temperature up to 400 to 600 degree centigrade power stroke both the valves remains closed here the spark plug produces sparks of high voltage the fuel mixture gets ignited and produces by products like carbon dioxide water and a lot of heat about 2000 degree centigrade on combustion the heated gas mixture expands outward with a great force due to expansion temperature of gases drops and the piston moves downwards the work is done only in this stage that is the power stroke stage exhaust stroke during this stage the outlet valve opens the piston moves upwards pushing out the exhaust gases like carbon dioxide sulfur dioxide water vapor etc through the outlet valve the outlet valve gets closed and the next cycle starts here the linear motion of the piston is converted into rotatory motion by crank shaft now let us uh, deal about the study of diesel engine rudolf diesel a german scientist improved the petrol engine and invented diesel engine in the year 1894 this was named after his name as diesel engine the construction of diesel engine is similar to petrol engine except the fuel injection pump it is fitted in place of the spark plug carburetor is not required in diesel engine because the fuel and air mixture is not taken in the intake stroke but only air is taken inside working of diesel engine also has four stages or four strokes intake compression power stroke and exhaust stroke intake inlet valve opens outlet valve remains closed filtered air enters in the cylinder through inlet valve in the compression stage the air mixture that is the pure air is compressed such that the temperature may rise up to 900 degree centigrade where both inlet valve and the outlet valve remains closed due to this heavy temperature in the power stroke a required amount of diesel is injected in the cylinder this gets ignited at this high temperature the exhaust gases expand violently pushing the piston downwards in the exhaust stroke stage the spent gases are thrown out of the cylinder through the outlet valve let us see some differences between petrol engine and diesel engine in petrol engine fuel used is petrol whereas 
in diesel engine fuel used is diesel spark plug is used here and fuel injection pump is used in diesel engine in petrol engine carburetor is present in diesel engine carburetor is absent mixture of air and fuel is taken during the inlet stroke in petrol engine whereas only filtered air is taken through inlet valve petrol engine are less efficient compared to diesel engine and diesel engines are more efficient than petrol engine petrol engines are lighter whereas diesel engine are heavier petrol engines are used in light vehicles uh, such as uh, bikes scooters car etc whereas diesel engine is best suited for heavy vehicles like trucks uh, railway engines ship etc now let us uh, see some uh, differences between the external combustion engines and internal combustion engine fuel is burned outside the engine in external combustion engines whereas in ICE the fuel is burned inside the cylinder the external combustion engines take uh, more times to start whereas the internal combustion engine starts instantaneously the external combustion engines are bulky and heavy whereas the internal combustion engines are smaller the fuel required is generally in large quantity in uh, external combustion engines whereas the fuel required is in smaller quantity in internal combustion engines external combustion engines are fitted only to heavy vehicles like a steam engine whereas internal combustion engines can be best suited for small vehicles as well as the large vehicle the efficiency of the external combustion engine uh, is from uh, 10 to 15 percent whereas the efficiency of the internal combustion engine is much higher and is about 40 to 60 percent an engine cannot convert 100 percent of its heat energy into mechanical energy because energy is lost during transformation thus the capability of engine differs and is given by efficiency the efficiency of heat engine can be defined as the fraction of heat converted into useful mechanical work it is uh, usually expressed as a percentage that is efficiency equals to work done by heat supplied into 100 let us take an example an engine is 30 percent efficient if 900 kilojoules of heat is consumed by it then what is the work done by the engine we have efficiency equal to 30 percent heat supplied equals to 900 kilojoule therefore the efficiency of an engine equals to work done by heat supplied into 100 by cross multiplying we get work done equals to efficiency into total heat supplied divided by 100 that is 30 into 900 by 100 so we will get work done as 270 kilojoules